So I'm attempting to share bits and pieces of our days lately with you. I've been wanting to share a day in the life, but it turns out it's kind of hard to do so. Um, so I started off pretty strong sharing one day. <laughs> and then that turns into a few bits and pieces of days in between. So I'll get better at it. But I hope somehow by starting, I can start to let you know what our days have been like lately learning and growing together. So what is this? I think it's so this is cabbage. Yeah, that's cabbage. But this is lettuce. No, these are peppers. These yeah. are peppers. So I need you to make this fine morning and I'm just so super grateful to be feeling somewhat like a decent human after several weeks of not feeling well I've had like a major ear infection slash sinus infection for far too long and um, I'm starting to feel a bit better which makes me feel really good and I didn't quite wake up on time like I wanted to this morning so the kids got started with their work day on their own which is kind of the goal like kind of the unschool slash relaxed school slash whatever kind of school you want to call it that's the goal and now that I am nice and ready I needed them to kind of like clear out a little bit so that, <laughs> so that I could clear my mind by like vacuuming the floor wiping off the tables and um I'm just getting my plan ready for what I want us to do today. So right now I'm just gonna go through and get my little five minutes of quiet time in my school room so I can be inspired and then I'm gonna call them back in so they can get back to work on what they were doing and I can get to work on what I'm doing. We are supposed to be setting up our garden of which that has been a total bust lately because it has rained so very much and we started, um, we're starting a lot of our plants from seed. Um, and it's been really, really cold. But we're out here trying to do the best we can in these quarantine streets. So, <laughs> we're just going to jump back in. Um, I missed Earth Day, y'all. Totally missed it. And it's one of our favorites. Um, but again, we don't subscribe to um, sticking ourselves in a box. Just because we missed actual Earth Day doesn't mean we can't still celebrate and move along like we want to. So, we're going to kick things off by getting to our seedlings finally. I got completely inspired because you guys know I have a subscription to Masterclass. And um, there is a new course on Masterclass for Urban Gardening. Brian and I have been watching it together and getting all of the ideas, but it sparked a little bit of my thoughts and feelings on why I kind of like slowed down on sharing here, homeschool things. I'll share about it later. I'm just going to get started now and wipe off these sticky tables and vacuum this yucky floor. <laughs> also, my gray hair. Let's not even talk about it right now. <laughs> I'm on a whole hair journey and yeah these gray hairs are determined to be a part of it so let's just let's just ignore them for now okay until we can properly address them My hair is getting bigger and messier by the moment. Just don't mind it. <sighs> if I think about it, I won't vlog. So <laughs> anyway, before I call the kids back in here, what I'm going to do now is go through um, some of my ideas and pens to try to pull together something I want to put on the chalk wall. I haven't done the chalk wall in a very long time. And that's really sad because I love our chalk wall. I love using it. I think it's really um, effective. 
um, it's an effective way to just use our creativity and for the kids to see what we are going to be working on so I'm gonna sit here Brian gave me about cuz he manages my time in my life <laughs> He gave me about 20 minutes to sit and work on what I want to put on the chalk wall. So I'm very, very excited about that. Today I'm going to work on our journalist board. So I figured I could do a board for each one of our subjects that we turned into jobs. I'm going to start with their journalist unit so that I can just get all of my ideas out on the board as creatively as possible and they can have a framework for you know who and what we are. I've been getting a lot of ideas from unlikely places and um, in the last week or so a lot of that has come um, or been or I've received some type of confirmation of my creative idea in the form of Apple TV. <laughs> So you guys know I did a whole video on um, my thought process on why I chose journalism for them to study and and try to embody and how that is directly relating to language arts um, in our world. And so we've been heavily focused on our journals and just really trying to figure out how is what are the best ways to use our journals and the importance of our journals in um, just really uh, studying what journalism truly is and it's been really cool because a lot of the um, the shows that we've been watching lately because Netflix and Apple TV are life right now um, has kid journalists in them in some way shape or form uh, there are several shows where there are kids that are keeping journals in different ways to help them to um, solve problems and um, solve mysteries and so that's really really cool and that really just gives me some confirmation that I'm moving in the right direction so I'm gonna get started on that now computer out and my coffee um, still a little bit warm and get them up on that board and I have other spaces too like I've got a whiteboard over there I've got a board in the boys room and I'm thinking about putting um, a chalk wall in Savannah's room as well so we're just gonna figure that out now Print. <laughs> so many of our seedlings have sprouted before we can take them out. This is all going in. Putting on the walls for the garden. This is what we're gonna water with. Hold on. I just tea sunny. It's cool and sunny at the same time. It's more sunny wow. than cool, but it is cool. Wow. I wonder when those ice cream places are opening up. Right here. I love ice cream. It's like you hold this up and then. That's gonna be all golden. And then they'll be sealed. And then we can They're just like check on them every day uh, and take pictures. And then we can take a picture. We can take a lot of pictures just for fun if we want to. Are these still?
Okay, we have a lot of good stuff going on today, including this one who's deciding to dance circles around me. <laughs> <laughs> There's still in the schoolroom writing and I am taking a little bit of time to um, check it back in with my notes on our journalism unit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So I feel like I'm making some progress. I am currently um, creating like these little kind of sheets of ephemera that I can print out and have them used to cut out and use inside of their journal. So that's very exciting. That's the type of stuff I'd love to do. Also needs to take care of this um, mound of laundry, but we're just gonna ignore it for a moment. Watch him dance around me. <laughs> it's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Still ignoring the fact that my hair looks a whole hot mess, but that's okay. I like that. You like my hair? I guess not a mess. Aw, thank you, boo. We've decided to start working on our outdoor spaces a little bit more since it seems like we are going to be spending more time there this summer. To be honest, my life as homeschool mom has been thriving, but my wellness journey on the other hand, not so much. I have been documenting everything all along the way and I'll tell you all about it soon enough. It's day two of my wellness journey. And I didn't want to pick up the camera because I look a hell of a hot mess, but that's okay. <sighs> and all that I've been learning, I feel like this is the good part. So, um, I just got off the treadmill. Just gonna check in on our seedlings. Here they are, going nicely and pointing towards the sun. Water and sunlight and good soil. Oh yeah, also want to finish up my board today. I started working on our chalk wall, which made me feel all types of happy. And I'll show you how that is coming along. Oh gosh, this is vulnerable. <clears throat> oh well, but I'm going to get dressed. That's next. <laughs> well, Cameron has done very well at taking care of his plant and it is thriving. Um, but mommy hasn't done so great at hers. So Cam's, oh, oh careful. Oh. Down a little, I can't see. Oh. <laughs> so. Cam's plant is thriving Thrive. and growing, so he's been asking about replanting it or repotting it. So we're gonna get a new pot. Yes. So we're gonna get it a new pot. Savannah's plant is still doing well and thriving and getting bigger. And Kendall's plant had a few moments, but we are doing better now, and there's some new growth there. So that makes me happy. Okay. It's hard to sum up homeschool and life lately. I've been trying to develop a habit of documenting more, sharing resources and updates in more detail on our blogs. The more faith and patience I have, the more I'm able to sit back and watch things unfold. Thank you for being there to watch things unfold with me.